All right, so hello everyone. It is Suzanne, and I've been thinking it is two weeks, two weeks away till the new year. So January 1st, 2018 is two weeks from now. And for me, one of the most important things that I could be doing is uh, writing a vision for 2018 and goal setting. So I thought I'd share with you a little bit of what I do to set up my year and to really just create some clarity as I go into 2018. So one of the things I've done for many years is just make a commitment that January 1st cannot meet me without a clear vision and new goals. So I've got them written, I've got them organized, I've got a plan laid out by January 1st. And I mean January 1st, like the first second of the year. So I thought I'd give you a few tips on what I do. Uh, I'm not sure, I hope this will serve. So the first thing I do is I go out and get a new journal. So this is my uh, journal for 2018. And, uh, and this is what I carry this everywhere I go, like pretty well 24 seven. And it is a reflection of my year. So I'm wrapping up my 2017 journal and getting ready for 2018. So the first thing in wrapping up my 2017 journal that I do is I actually take some time to sit in gratitude and celebrate my successes. And, uh, and I go through my journal and I, I really do mean I go through the whole year and I highlight uh, things that have been really cool. Of course, I've gone into the year with some goals, so I, I celebrate the goals I've, I've succeeded, and I'll tell you more about how I set goals in a moment. I celebrate the goals that I've succeeded, and, and I just take some time to sit in gratitude, and, and both for the big stuff and the small stuff. And one of the things about, about just sitting in gratitude and being grateful is it doesn't just prompt you to be like celebrating all the big successes that you had, but it allows you to actually take some time and celebrate the small steps, the little things. What am I grateful for, right? I'm totally grateful for another year of being self-employed, working for myself, being able to attract and create new income. I'm totally grateful for health. You know, I, my health is in, is in a beautiful place. I'm totally grateful for having a warm home that I love to come back to. I'm grateful for family. I'm grateful for friends. I'm grateful actually for every lesson that I've learned and every new mentor that has taken the moment to contribute into me contribute to me. So first thing I'm thinking I'm gonna do is exactly that. I'm gonna write down what I'm grateful for and all my and my successes. And you know, oftentimes when you start writing, you realize there are many, of course, it's been 365 days, there are many, right? And so that's the first thing I do. Then I'll take some time and I'll ask myself, where have I grown? And what areas might I be required to grow in order to move forward in 2018? So where have I grown and what areas might I want to grow in 2018? The next thing I, I will do is I'll look through my journal and go, what's not complete? Now this was huge. I learned this uh, the first time I read The Power of Focus, Mark Victor Hanton, Les Hewitt, Jack Canfield. So the first time I, I, I read Power of Focus, one of the things that they recommended was for us not to go into the year without having a, a great completion, completing those things, because it, it takes your energy, particularly if there are things like, there's a chip on the wall that needs to be painted. Um, so I had my, uh, a friend come in, he did all the little things that needed to be done in the house, so he did all the fixes. Um, I, I'm gonna clean my office, I'm gonna organize, I'm gonna go through my journal, and any task that's not done that I can complete before 2018, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do that. So that's the next thing. Then now I'm ready and I know actually where I'm ending my year, therefore I know actually where I'm starting. And, and you know, and so knowing where you're ending and being clear on where your new beginning is, is huge. And also sitting in acceptance of what is. So as I celebrate, as I look at what worked, what didn't, where I've grown, where I haven't, I, I, there's no judgment, it's just, an, it's almost like an inventory. And it's, it's a learn, it's a lesson, it's celebrating the positive stuff, but having a total awareness. Now I'm ready to start designing my new year. So next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some time and I'm gonna write a big, bold, beautiful vision uh, for 2018. And my vision is really um, a story I tell myself, if you will. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into the year, December 31st, 2018, and I'm gonna ask myself, what have I done? What have I accomplished? 
Where have I gone? Who have I become? And I'm really going to write a division. And I'm going to write it in such a way that when I read it back to myself, it is going to paint a crystal clear picture in my mind. It's also going to give me a sense of energy. It's going to give me um, maybe some smells, some touch, some feelings. It'll paint a clear, vivid picture. It's like my own mini movie. And that's where I'm going in 2018. That is what I'm up to. That's what I'm committed to creating. Once I've done that, now I'm going to start writing goals. And I write 100 goals in every, in different areas of my life. 100. Now the first time I was challenged to write 100 goals, I was like, there's no way that was possible. But when I sat down, I got it done in less than an hour. So this is the trick. I want you to choose 10 categories in your life. And there's some key ones that you want to have. So you want to have a health category. You want to have a business or job category. You want to have a finance ca category. And people always ask me what's the difference between finance and, and business. Business is how you make your money. Finance is what you do with your money once you make it. Very big distinction. Then I want you to have a, a relationship goal. These are my freedom goals, I call them. So, so my foundation goals are health, business, and wealth. And, and finance, and then my freedom goals are relationships, travel and recreational, personal growth and personal development, contribution, uh, what else do I do? Um, I do fun things, so fun, so where am I gonna go, what am I going to do? Did I say travel and recreation? So I write 10, 10 particular goals in different areas of my life that I wanna grow. And then I have a big lofty goal in each category. Big goal. So something I really want, like if I do this, it's, I'm gonna be jazzed at the end of the year. And then after I write that big goal, I'm gonna break it down into 10 small goals. And those 10 small goals are like stepping stones to get me to that big goal. That's kind of how, that's kind of how I do it. And once I do that, I go to work and I build, I begin to build my plan. So I hope that helps. That's kind of the beginning of uh, how I end and begin the new year. And I, I really want to wanted to say to you, do not go into 2018 without a clear vision for your life because it's up to us. Design your life. Live your life by your design. And the only way to do that is to have amazing goals and stepping stones, which are small goals to get there. So take care. Talk to you soon. And let me know what you did. Let, me, let us know what some of your goals are. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.